You know when you check into a hotel, how nice it is to get free Wi-Fi and that little chocolate on the pillow? But what if your room was stocked with historic items, such as private military medals and personal photos from some of our country's leaders? Well, that's exactly the type of special tribute guests are finding at the hotel at West Point. It has been the defender of our democracy since 1802, the venerable U.S. Military Academy at West Point, New York. Now guests who check into the historic Hotel Thayer on the Army Academy grounds can sleep in rooms dedicated to some American icons, West Point graduates who have gone on to become leaders in the military, business, and other professions. I want people to understand one thing. I'm not dead yet. Okay. <laughs> The latest tribute is for Pete Dawkins, retired Brigadier General who saw combat in Vietnam. Dawkins is a gridiron legend. He won the Heisman Trophy for helping lead the 1958 Army football team to its last undefeated season. His room is number 411. What I would want and what I think most of the people whose names are on, on, on these rooms would wish for is for people to understand how potent, how powerful, how formative our time at the Military Academy was in fashioning the people that we came to be. I was amazed at the history that I didn't know, some very private letters that are now hanging in some of those rooms and conversations, and you really get a sense of the person. The rooms are not only dedicated to our nation's notables, but also contain personal keepsakes of their lives and careers. This is the General Martin E. Dempsey Room, West Point Class of 74, current chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Here's the General with his wife, some of his personal military mementos, giving a news conference at the Pentagon, serving in Afghanistan, and there's a guest book. One guest wrote, congratulations on another great tribute. And oh yeah, beat Navy. This place, West Point, is about ethical leadership. And we're trying in these rooms to uh, dedicate them to people who have demonstrated ethical leadership over uh, their careers. The Dawkins Room includes his medals, a campaign poster from his 1988 race for the U.S. Senate from New Jersey, photos of him as a cadet, and a breathtaking view of the scenic Hudson River. About one-third of the hotel's 151 rooms and suites have been named, while others await sponsors. Rebecca Halstead, the first female West Point graduate to become a general, has a room. Others include General Douglas MacArthur, astronaut Buzz Aldrin, and even Abner Doubleday, considered the inventor of baseball, class of 1842. Norman Schwarzkopf, Presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Dwight Eisenhower are waiting to be sponsored. General George S. Patton gets the bar. For the current West Point cadets, the rooms are a reminder of who has come before. What we did was not for us, but it was to be part of something bigger and more important. We end up being uh, patriots. West Point and the Hotel Thayer, a lasting tribute to those who serve. And yes, the general, General Dawkins and his wife, do stay in the Dawkins room, even though they checked out some of the other rooms there. He says he owes so much to West Point, as we all do. And you know, Jamie, those cadets, when you're there, they're just so impressive. And you know what? When you stay at the Thayer, which I've been lucky enough to do, and people should visit West Point, it's astonishing. You never know which hero you're going to meet in the hall. Good point. It's or quite which, fascinating. Which hero's room are you going to stay in? Great. I hope you didn't take any of those coins. No, didn't take okay. anything. Leave them for the rest. Yeah. If you need one, come by. <laughs> uh, great report. Thank you. Well, 